Playoffs played tonight in the 3A Eastern Regional Finals as Eastern Alamance hosted Jacksonville in Mebane. Two undefeated teams. Jacksonville has lost to Eastern Alamance in the playoffs the last two seasons. And the Eagles came out in the first half on the attack. Great pass in by Abby Brinker to Molly Widrich who pops it all over the goalie one to nothing Eastern Alamance early and then just 40 seconds later Abby Brinker in the middle of the field. Watch this insane back kick pass to Molly Widrich again who scores the second goal of the game to put Jacksonville in a two to nothing hole. The Cardinals had a couple of shots on goal, including this one that was so close and bounced off the crossbar. Eastern Alamance, though, wins 4-1 to one to give Jacksonville its first loss of the season and end the Cardinals' season in the playoffs for now the third straight year. The Moorhead City Marlins baseball team was finally able to have the team's home opener at Big Rock Stadium tonight against the Wilmington Sharks. Marlins wearing their alternate fish tacos uniforms this evening. MHC 1-1 one one coming into this game tonight. Top of the third, Wilmington's Carson Villata, Villalta with a hit to center field. That brings in Drew Sturgeon to score. And the Sharks take a one to nothing lead. Fish tacos out wearing sombreros in the dugout tonight. Later in the game, how about some MHC defense? The nice 6-4-3 double play to get out of the inning. Not a lot of offense tonight, but some great defense from both teams. Kyle Smith with the great catch for Wilmington behind the plate later in the game. Wilmington wins one to nothing. Low scoring game. Marlins are back at home tomorrow night at seven against the Wake Forest Fungo. Minor League Baseball, the Down East Wood Ducks started a six game homestand with the Columbus Fireflies this evening at Granger Stadium. Woody's game and a half back of the Carolina Mudcats, half a game back rather in the Carolina League North standings. Woody's get the win three to nothing. Game two is tomorrow at 7 p.m. The high school baseball and softball state championship locations were announced today for this weekend. In the 3A baseball championship matchup, J.H. Rose will face West Henderson at the Burlington Athletic Stadium in Burlington with game one this Friday night at 8 p.m. Game two will then be played this Saturday at 2 p.m. and if needed, game three on Saturday shortly after at 8 p.m. Rampants are back in the 3A title series for the first time since the 2020-2021 season. And the Rampants are on a 12-game win streak as well and now face a tough West Henderson team. Don't know much about them, you know. They, they're supposed to have a really good pitchers going to state. They uh, win 24-25 games. It's got to be good to do that, no matter where you are. And uh, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a tough game. The games are going to be tough. It's going to be whoever plays the best defense. And you know, same thing is always true in baseball. We're one of eight teams still playing. Um, there's what 198, 197 teams not playing right now. So I mean, to be a part of that group is a really big deal for us. And I think. The more we can have fun this season and uh, the more we can play games, the more fun it will be. Should be a fun series. West Henderson is playing in the championship series for the first time since 1992, so historic for them. For the 1A High School Softball State Championship Series, North Duplin will face Union Academy from Monroe at Dale Softball Stadium on NC State's campus. Game 1 will be played this Friday at 7 p.m. Game 2 will be this Saturday at 11 a.m. Game 3, if needed, will follow right after on Saturday at 2 p.m. Men's College Basketball News. Former UNC guard Caleb Love has announced his commitment to transfer to Arizona. The Wildcats in the Pac-12 on Tuesday. Love initially committed to Michigan after leaving Chapel Hill. However, he decommitted two weeks ago after an admissions issue related to credits transferring. Love averaged a career high 16.7 points last season, shooting 37% from the field and contributing 3.7 rebounds and 2.8 assists last season for the Tar Heels. That is your take on sports. Back to you guys. Looks like tomorrow we're going to see about a 20% chance of a stray shower here or there.